Hi, in this video, we're going to go through how to include a WFS layer from GeoServer into our QGIS project. Uh, so just to start, um, I've got uh, GeoServer and PostGIS running locally on my machine here, just part of a, a Docker setup. Um, inside of PostGIS, I've just got a GIS database. I've got a routes table. Um, I've got one entry in here. Uh, it's just a, a route here. Um, so this is the database. And then I've gone through and sort of published that table in GeoServer. Um, so if we view in GeoServer, we can see that same route showing up as a WFS uh, layer. In GeoServer. Um, so next, what I want to do is load that WFS layer into QGIS. So to do that, um, I want to take go back to the GeoServer homepage and just grab the WFS uh, Get Capabilities link. Um, I always use version 1.0.0 when working with QGIS. Uh, and this is because uh, some features of QGIS only support WFS version 1.0.0, uh, particularly WFS transactions. If you want to modify a feature, which we'll do in some of the later videos, you need to make sure that you're using version 1 here. So I always use the version 1 link. Uh, once we've got that copied, we hop back into QGIS. And we'll define um, the WFS layer. So here it is, localhost WFS, again, version 1. And there is basic auth for this. Docker setup. Um, so we'll do detect here to just test the configuration. Again, it's going to want to do version 2. But I know that I'm eventually going to want to edit these features, so I'm going to set this to version 1. Again, this is absolutely critical if you're going to um, do any kind of editing of the WFS layer. QGIS only supports version 1.0 of WFS transactions, so make sure version 1 is selected here. I'll add this layer, and I'm going to add this layer to my project. And i uh, just going to, so we've got the new routes layer here, which is our table in Postgres. And I can see our feature, just increase the width so it's a little more visible. Um, so there it is. Uh, so that just goes through how to load a GeoServer WFS layer into QGIS.